The experts say it goes deeper than just hurt feelings. It can be really hard for your on your mental health if you are revenge blocked. It's so hard, she says, because online dating is how many people are getting together. In fact, a recent study in 2019 shows that almost 40 percent of heterosexual couples met their partner online, almost double the number in just one decade. If you just take that away from somebody, it can be really challenging, especially if their mental health isn't in an amazing state to begin with. This is a very important subject. We had to bring in our expert. <laughs> <laughs> She is a, a new generation who yes. has used dating apps. In fact, I think I think it's just because you know I just graduated college like a year ago, <laughs> like <a> last <laughs> week already. <laughs> and like I was saying, like Bumble really does sponsor a lot of college <laughs> events. And, you know, they're all over campus. And wow. I met two of my partners like in dating apps and one on Instagram. So you know, like, it's not just dating apps, social media. General, like, so. how do you meet someone on Instagram? I don't know. Like, do you just well, like, like yeah, like you know, like especially college. I wouldn't know. Like people on their bio, like Texas State, like in whatever year they're graduating. Okay, okay. You follow them. You start liking their pictures. Your pictures and they and slide then into your DMs. I was about to DMs. say, but then now, have you ever heard of that term? I, so, uh, okay, I so understand. I understand. That's how you do it. Okay. We didn't really know what revenge blocking was. No. So you were able it's to actually term. explain that yeah, to us and what this is. Have you ever done it, Natasha? I have indeed once. <laughs> um, I, I met this guy on Tinder, um, and we, we hung out a couple times. He was great. He was a really sweet guy, and then randomly he was like, hey, I'm going to have to cancel tonight. Like, you know, something came up, so like a, no, 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 like no, an no. emergency. Tell the truth. What? Up. This is not okay to use as an excuse. This is a true Tell story. Us what he actually said. So he said that one it of his friends tried, um, you know, to end his life. Yes. Okay. There we go. Um, and I was like, okay, like you know, like it's no big deal. And then he like blocked me on social media. And then I later found out through other friends saying that he had used that excuse like multiple times with multiple girls. Oh yeah. No. Gosh. And I was like, well, Tinder. Here's my report. Uh, you should <laughs> definitely cancel that account. That is not an said, okay like, excuse. I need so, to walk the dog or so something. So basically you just report their, <laughs> you report yes. their profile to Tinder exactly. if they do something wrong or yeah. yes. Okay. So you report sense. it and then that way, uh, since it's with your phone number, you can't create a new account okay. unless you get like a new phone number. So okay. yeah. Wow. Like, See? Ruin their chances. That's insane. I don't understand. Me I've either. never ever been a part of it. I've never signed up for a dating app. I have no <laughs> idea what happens. <laughs> I, I don't Meet prefer me at the it. coffee shop. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> yeah. Organically, yeah. bring me flowers. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. There you just go. If you find yourself, yeah. your app's not working, you just probably got revenge blocked. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's so true. Yeah. Oh, this is so interesting. I want to know more. Yeah. yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll like keep talking stories. after the show. Yeah. <laughs> Commercial break. For sure. Natasha, <laughs> thanks for that expertise. Oh, thank <laughs> you. Great insight there. But hey, if you are heading out yeah. the door this morning, we're definitely starting off mostly muggy and warm. Here's a look at the current conditions. Here's a live look from the DH. HR Health Cam in Edinburgh. McAllen at 70, Harland and 69. Brownsville at 72 degrees with those conditions remaining mostly just warm and humid. Really not a good day to be outside. It's just going to be hot there, but the mostly sunny sky. So expect those warmer conditions later on this afternoon. So future clouds and radar starting off mostly a bit on the clear side. We're going to see uh, mostly just calm and quiet conditions. Might deal with some fog in some locations, especially in the lower valley, but definitely expecting those hot conditions and we also expect a disturbance to move in from the mountains of Mexico. We might see some late showers there, but the latest drought monitor showing uh, portions of Hidalgo County and Star County still abnormally dry, but all the rain that we received is definitely great, providing some beneficial relief from this drought conditions. We will <laughs>